Welcome to the Presto CLI lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn how to download the Presto CLI file and set it up as an executable file. In addition, you also learn how to run some simple commands using the Presto CLI. We're going to use the Presto CLI version 331 for this lesson. And with that, let's get started. In order to download the Presto CLI, open up a web browser and enter in the following URL prestosql.io slash docs slash 331. This is very similar to what we did in order to install the Presto server. Now under the installation section, click on command line interface. Once the new page opens up, right click on the Presto CLI jar. You should get a pop-up menu. Select the copy link option. Once this is done, Minimize the web browser and open up a terminal. Navigate back to the Presto installation folder you created earlier. And once you're in there, use the curl command to download the Presto CLI. Remember that link to the Presto CLI we copied earlier? This is where we use it. Essentially, it acts like a normal Unix executable file. Let's inspect the permissions for this file. We can see that it does not have the right permissions. Let's go ahead and make it an executable file. And to do this, we're going to use the chmod command. After the change, let's inspect the file permissions again. We want to confirm that it is now an executable file. In order to use the Presto CLI, you need to make sure that the Presto server is actually running. And so let's open up a new terminal and make sure that we kick off the Presto server. Once the Presto server is up and running, go back to the previous terminal and kick off the Presto CLI. Notice how the last command failed. This is because we need to provide the IP and port number for Presto. If you can recall from the previous video, in the config.properties file, we set up an IP of 127.0.0.1 and a port number of 8080. One twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one is localhost, and so here we can use localhost or that IP address. Why don't we just use localhost for now? And with that, the Presto CLI is up and running. Let's take it for a spin. Let's try the show catalogs command. We see the Hive, MySQL, and Kafka here because we created dot properties files for them in the catalog folder earlier. However, since we still need to install Hive, Kafka, MySQL, there's not much we can do with them right now. System, on the other hand, comes by default and actually has data we can actually play with right now. So let's see the schemas within the system catalog. Oops, I think I made a mistake here. I should use schemas, not catalog. Next, let's see the tables within the information schema. Finally, let's see the first 20 rows in one of these tables. Let's pick the second to last table in this list. Interestingly, its name is oddly called tables. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, you've learned how to download and set up the Presto CLI and also how to run commands from the Presto CLI. 